whenever we got to spray, we try to spray with stuff that won't harm the good guys. We grow on, on about 20 acres, hydroponic tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, lettuces, watercress. Yeah, they're, 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 they're fine, they're growing well. Um, during the summer when there's more light, they just um, accelerate their uh, growth. You know, it's like a big umbrella. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big umbrella because they're real sensitive to um, um, rain. Yeah, you, you can't really grow tomatoes out in the open. Yeah, but, but because we are forced to do this here, we end up with steady production all year long. So nowadays we, we have to monitor the light energy and that tells us how much water to give it so we don't waste right. water pressure and uh, some flashlight batteries. So when we get a hydro, we'll be able to charge our batteries even. Yeah, that's, that's the big, a big part of our operation. This is an heirloom tomato. They're really ugly, but they taste the best. Really? Yeah. This is a purple Cherokee. And that, that's the one, that's our favorite actually. It has a real nice balance between, uh, of um, um, sweetness and tartness. This is called a striped German. The color that you see outside is throughout, so when you slice it, it has a real nice profile. Wow. The chefs really like it, and, but w the reason we like this is it's, it's sweeter than most. It's a, it, it has a higher sweetness content compared to the purple Cherokee. Right. So, and we have different kinds of grape tomatoes. Some of the farmers grow the string beans. I was telling you, so we, we, sh we work with other farmers. So they grow the string beans. We grow Japanese cucumber and we have uh, lettuces here. The interesting thing about this lettuce is that the roots are on. And it's a sterile cube that it grows in and then there's water. We don't use soil, so the roots are all in water. And we keep the roots on and these are li living lettuce. And the idea behind this is that if it's alive, it doesn't have to uh, have real um, low temperatures. Like if you cut it off as usual, the room would have to be 34 degrees. Right now it's only 50 something degrees. So we save energy. So it's an education kind of thing. And that could actually grow on your kitchen counter in a, in a coffee cup. Japanese cucumbers. We like these because these are the crunchy ones. Nice, good taste to it. So the, whole, the, the thing about what we do is we, uh, we try to make sure we, we grow the, th the variety that tastes the best. Not necessarily the one that's most disease resistant, not necessarily the one that um, produces the most, but for sure the one that tastes the best. We grow what we like to eat. <laughs> 